Let's just pretend. Oh, I, I gotta sneeze. Welcome back to another episode of Gary's Kitchen. Today, we're going to make something new one more time that I haven't tried before. I'm going to make pho for the really first time. I'm really excited. I'm also really nervous, but hopefully it's going to turn out well. I love noodle soup of any kind, so I'm sure it'll still be delicious. For pho, you treat the meat first, right? Am I, am I wrong? Am I right? I think I do need to treat the meat first. Usually for uh, for the broth, I think res most recipes call for the femur of the cow. Are you soaking the meat? I am not soaking the meat. No, for what I'm doing, uh, I have, this is pork neck. This was like the boniest thing that I could find with a bit of meat on top. So you want to get as many you bone the meat? type meats as you can. Am I fucking it up already? Am I supposed to soak it? Just soak it up. Oh, you guys are fucking trolls. Uh, fuck you guys. And I also have, what is this? This is beak shank bone. So this is also the boniest thing that I can find at the grocery store. I'm trying to make pho here and you guys are being so mean to me. Okay, these are the, this is a neck bone. I finished blanching the bones now just for five minutes, not very long. The grocery store said that this is like easy to cook oxtail. I don't really know the differences. So I'm just gonna put it in and hope for the best. I'm just gonna sear off each side. Just so it's a little bit brown. I'm not looking to cook the inside or anything. That's a nice color. I did actually study Uncle Roger's like a pho videos. So hopefully I'll be able to add the correct spices and stuff like that into um, into the pho today. But, 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 but we'll see. Before we do the spice pack and stuff. I think I'm gonna toast off my ginger and my onions. It's burnt. It's supposed to be burnt. It's called charring, guys. Turn the flame down. <laughs> okay, everything is okay. Uh, don't, 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 nothing to see here. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the onion now. I'm gonna toast the onion. My onion is catching on fire, guys. My, my onion is literally catching on fire. My hands are starting to hurt from holding the, the tongs, guys. Can someone do this for me? My thumb is getting tired. But I was going into Toshi Station to pick up some power converters. I feel, I feel like I'm in danger. I have never burnt anything like this before. We're gonna move on to the, um, the spices now. I believe the standard spice pack that you need for pho is star anus. Do you want to run that by me again? Coriander, cinnamon. What is this? Cardamom. And we also have cloves. Oh, and fennel seeds. Here's what's going to happen, chat. I will dump things out individually and you tell me if it's too much or too little. I, I love anus. I beg your pardon. I, I love anus. So I'm going to do, I think this is a big pot. So I'm going to do five star anuses. Is, is six cloves okay? It's okay. Six, six is okay. Two is okay. You guys are scaring me now. I'll take one back. I'll take a, I'll take a small one back. The last time I cooked with taru and chili for one big bowl of rice, they asked me to put in three paws of cardamom. So maybe three is okay. Maybe too many star anise. Really? You guys don't like star anus? Okay, fine. I'll do three star anus. Cinnamon six, two, uh, or even 1.5. Mm. Oh, I have five. I have 1.5. One teaspoon fennel seed. Coriander. Again, I don't know what coriander tastes like, but is this enough? I'm gonna turn it on to low heat and I'm just gonna slowly toast the spices a little bit to release some of the flavor. And I have a little cheesecloth here for my flavor packet. I think the spices are telling me it's ready. I'm ready! I'm going to put this in here. I'm gonna get my twine and I'm gonna get enough to make a little bow tie. And then I'm going to scrunch everything up into the center. And hopefully I can tie it with my gloves on. Okay, nice and tight. I have my soup. I'm gonna put it in here. And I think I think that's it, right? I just put in water and then I can just wait, right? I hope, I, I hope it's enough. I might have to add more. Ah! Okay, all right. We're here now. What's the biggest difference between uh, Northern Vietnamese pho and Southern Vietnamese pho? Can we back that up a bit there? Vietnamese? Yeah, Viet 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 Vietnamese. What? Vietnamese. 
Is this real life? N before M? Vietnamese. Uh, Viet... Vietnam, Vietnamese. I put the N before the M. What about... What? There is no N after the M. Vietnamese. 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 Okay, let Brian say it. Vietnamese. Vietnamese. Okay, that's not how you say it. Vietnamese. Oh, oh! Vietnamese. Did I do it? I did it! Okay, I'm gonna switch it over. I'm gonna put the soup on this side now. So I can start preparing for the spring rolls and stuff. Oh, it's so heavy! Ah. So, spring rolls. Pretty simple. So I have a bowl here to mix in the filling. I have ground pork. I'm gonna put that in there. And then we're gonna have a little bit of garlic. Okay, I'm chopping the ginger. Or, what am I chopping? Garlic. I have a little bit of carrot. And I'm just gonna peel a little bit. Oh! I think I'm gonna go with maybe the finer cut. Let me see how this goes. When, when, when a mama, when a- t -t -t Today, Junior! When a mama bird falls in love with a papa bee, um, a, a, a dog comes into the world. And this is how, um, pom pom came into existence. This is a lot of carrot. I'll do a little bit of cabbage. I'll, I'll do less cabbage than um, carrot then. She came out of me. That's why we look the same. She has my personality. She has my sense of humor. Uh, everyone, everyone loves her just as much as she loves me. You know? Like, look at her. Don't we look the same? I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the same face as Pom Pom, okay? Okay, I'm gonna put, I have finely diced cabbage. I'm gonna put these in here. I think normally you can put in wood ear, like the black frilly fungus thingy. I just got a little lazy. So instead of that, I'm going to do um, just the vermicelli. I soaked one small amount of it. I'm just gonna chop it as small as I can and put them into the filling. I'm gonna use my glove hand. I'm just gonna mix the filling. Did you guys actually know that crispy uh, Vietnamese spring rolls is actually made out of rice paper and not a uh, spring roll wrapper? I didn't know that and I thought that was really interesting. I'm gonna dip this, dry it off. Don't worry if it looks a little bit stiff in the beginning, it will soften like most things. If you just give it enough time, um, anything rigid will become soft if it's moist enough. That's the take home message for today, okay? So I'm gonna, I soaked my wrapper and I'm gonna get a little bit of meat and put it like this. Um, you, it can be as long as you want. I feel like if I'm making it for chat, it's gonna be like fucking this long. This is already like a fucking exaggeration for you guys, but I'm really sorry. I was in the pool! I'm out here trying to girl boss, so chat is not good enough for me anymore. So I'm gonna go with like like this. I think this is a nice modest length, you know? There you go. A baby one. This is the regular one, and then this is chat. Oh, you guys are so cute. Look at you guys. Oh. I'm actually gonna make the dipping sauce first for the uh, spring rolls because that can sit on the corner, sit on the edge, and kind of get ready. I like things, I like things really spicy, so I'm gonna put in two Thai chilies. Vietnamese uh, <laughs> fish sauce tends to be a little bit, it's sour, it's stanky, and sweet. So I am putting in a little bit more sugar than you would normally think to go into a sauce. I'm gonna put in a little bit of hot water um, to melt the sugar. I have the chilies, I have water, and I have sugar that I'm stirring to dissolve. I'm gonna add in some fish sauce. Fish sauce is quite salty. So add in little by little and you can adjust as you go. If you accidentally put in a little bit too much fish sauce, don't worry about it, just add more water. And I'm also gonna juice one lime, two limes. I'm not too sure, but we'll, we'll see. Oh, that's spicy. It needs more lemon though, or lime. I'm gonna put this on the side. This is ready. My bean sprouts, mint, and also, par I, I know it's supposed to be cilantro, but I have parsley in the fridge, so I'm gonna use the parsley. This is all for picture. I'm gonna pick it out. I hate parsley, I hate cilantro. I think what I'm gonna do now is make the uh, spring rolls now. We're gonna fry. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. I'm gonna turn the heat just a little bit lower because I don't want, I want to make sure the, outs the inside is cooked through. I wanna make sure the inside is cooked through before the outside is too golden brown. Okay, I'm gonna take out my seasoning pack. I'm gonna take out the bones. We're gonna get a reasonable amount out just so that I can stick my ladle in there. And then we can season and we can eat. So I have beef balls that I bought from the grocery store. Oh, it's all black. 
it's just beef balls. The color is blue. That's why it's getting chroma keto. My wife say no, and now my balls are blue. Okay. I also have the raw beef here. I don't have access to fresh, thinly shaved beef. So I'm just using hot pot beef. I was about to use the pho noodles without even seasoning the soup. Okay, so I'm going to put in fish sauce. Taste first. Oh, taste first. Okay. Mm, okay, so it's plain. I mean, there's really no salt in there. I'm gonna put in the fish sauce and also sugar. I'm sweating. Okay, no, fuck this fucking sugar thing. The whole thing is going in. It's like not salty at all, basically. Salt and MSG, okay? I'm adding in the MSG, okay? Fuyo. Oh, that's good. Oh my God, that's so good. Hold on, one more, one. Oh my God, that's so good. And I'm going to grab one. Is this enough for one person? I don't know. One amount, two amount. Is this is this good for one, one person, two person? And put it all in there. And again, it only needs about 10 seconds. Not very long. Swirl it around, swoosh it. Oh, I gotta move fast. I gotta move fast. Fast as fuck, boy. You're fast as fuck. Okay. How is this enough noodle? It's barely enough. Chat is on a diet. <laughs> I'm going to do my bean sprouts. I'm gonna, I have a little bit of parsley. I know it's supposed to be cilantro. I know. I have my beef here. I'm hoping and praying that it will cook through. And what else am I missing? Uh, oh, right, the, uh, the beef balls. I'll do two small pieces of oxtail for myself. I don't know if I can finish it all. <laughs> I took the picture, so I'm gonna take the, uh, I'm gonna take the parsley and stuff out. And here we have our completed dish. We made pho from scratch for the very, very first time. There's oxtail, uh, beef balls, thinly sliced beef, bean sprouts, cilantro, uh, a wedge of lime, and the soup tastes absolutely delicious. Um, I'm actually really happy with my very first attempt. We also made some crispy spring rolls as well with a fish sauce for dipping. Um, I think it turned out really amazing. If you ever do try the recipe, please leave a comment down below. I would love to see how it turned out for you guys. And if you want to stay um, up to date with my regular uploads, uh, then make sure you like, comment, uh, subscribe, and the notification bell, all those things. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Are you ready for, ready for the slurp ASMR? <laughs>